Hey, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Adventure Island 2 The Ultimate Challenge. And we're just going to get started right away because I've got a big battle coming up. Now thankfully we turned off the aqua switch earlier in the last episode so we can get past these barriers. And then we can get rid of all that sand with the shovel. And just jump through them. As long as you have enough life to survive, it doesn't matter because the chest over here will remedy that situation nicely. Boom! A life bottle. That's four full hearts we have now, and it fully refills all your energy, so that's why it didn't really matter. And in fact, it really doesn't matter if you do it again right here, as long as you don't hit any of the others coming up. As long as you have enough life bottles to refill half a heart, you'll be fine. But make sure to watch out for this one. Jump over him once he's moved. And then switch back to your fist and use recovery to heal that half heart. And we are off to the final battle with the boss here. Or almost. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, tentacle rape. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> the boss of uh, Puka Puka Island. I like to call him Tsunami Squid. Anyway, he's just a gigantic squid, and as you can see, he's basically got two phases to him. It's pretty easy, um, as long as you're careful and you know a good pattern. Uh, the first phase, as you saw earlier, was the uh, tentacle rape phase, as I call it, where he shoots tentacles up at you. Uh, and you basically either swim out of the way of them or jump over them once they come up underneath you. I choose just to stay in one spot and jump rather than trying to move out of the way because you could end up moving into the way of the next one by accident. And then this is the second phase that he does where he comes out of the water and he has a single tentacle that's sticking out of the water. And basically your goal is to hit the tentacle which will push up his uh, whatever that is. I guess it's like a shell crown thing. I forget what they call it. The technical term. But anyway, it exposes his uh, vital part of his face and you can hit that as long as it's up. So you can see it right there, the black kind of area. Anyway, uh, your goal is to hit that as long as it's visible, which is basically one hit. And then just keep repeating the cycle. You can usually get about five to eight hits in, if you're lucky. Uh, and as you can see, at the end of the phase, he shoots ink out into the water that turns it darker and darker. But it doesn't really actually hinder sight of his tentacles. I can't remember precisely if that's a problem with the emulator or the game itself. I remember in the original SNES version, I'm playing this on an emulator obviously, but in the original SNES version, I th think that it was the same. I'm pretty sure that you could still see the tentacles, which kind of made the fight silly. You think that if the ink is going to be used in this level, that it would simply obscure them completely eventually. I could understand it getting more and more dark, but throughout this entire battle, you will be able to see them. So, it's kind of silly in my opinion. At least, maybe halfway down, make it pitch black so that we only see them when they're getting close. But, hey, I'm not the game designer. What can I say? I certainly can't complain, at least it gives me reaction time. <laughs> now, if you look up at my health up in the upper left corner, you notice that I got hit once and it knocked off three quarters of a heart. So that's why you gotta be really careful in this battle not to hit things. Especially those little balls that he shoots out. Um, each one of those is gonna do three quarters of a heart if you're using this uh, challenge as a guide. 
Otherwise, if you have armor on, especially the aqua armor, uh, you won't take much damage. I think you only take a quarter of a heart or half a heart at most damage with armor on, so it's not as bad. And also, if you're equipping the thunder sword when you're fighting this guy, it's a breeze. You can kill him in three phases easily. Uh, now, I should probably mention the reason why I didn't refill all my magic gauges uh, over on the upper right is because you're in water and you can't use magic when you're swimming. So it's basically pointless in this fight to have any sort of magic bottles filled up because, well, you can't use them. You're stuck with whatever health you came in with. Uh, so that's sort of the challenge of this battle. That's why it's harder than the boss of Boa Boa Island, for instance. Because at least on that one, you could heal yourself once or twice. But with this one, no, you're stuck with whatever you have, and each time you lose health, you're stuck with that. So you gotta be really careful. Uh, basically, if you have all four hearts right now, you could get hit one, two, three, four four or five times uh, safely before you're dead. But I'm going to try to not get hit again, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's only so much you can discuss about this fight before you've seen 18,000 phases of it. <laughs> it's basically going to bring me right up to the time limit, I bet. I did a test run of it earlier just to see how long it took, and it was like 11.03 or 11.04, so it's right on that time limit. And I think I'll be able to get it under, but just barely. Of course, if I was doing this with weapons, we would have been done ages ago. But that wouldn't be a challenge either. Oh, I tried for four there. Almost got him four times. Now sometimes when you hit him, you won't hear that kind of whoop sound. Uh, that doesn't mean that you didn't hit him, it just means that the sound effects on the game are kind of lagging. Like that one right there. You couldn't hear it, but he did get hit. You just have to watch his mouth animation to see whenever he gets hit. It always goes to that kind of freaky look, like, ah, I got hit with something. <laughs> yeah, and here's what I mean about the tentacles. See, you can still see them, even though they're really obscured. It's no harder than it originally was, as long as you're, you have half, half your vision, I guess. If you're co totally half blind, you might miss them. <laughs> but then again, if you're half blind, you probably miss half the stuff in the game anyway. Whoa, man, those those ink balls almost hit me. Or squid balls, or whatever those are. That was close. See, so there's the pattern. Get him twice right away, then three times after the balls go then twice, then three times. So you can get a total of ten hits if you're lucky. Anyway, does anyone have any sort of New Year's resolutions? <laughs> it is that time of year. Well, at least if you're watching this live. I don't know what my New Year's resolution is yet, but I've got a day to figure it out, I guess. Nobody ever keeps them anyway. <laughs> you know what I just realized? <laughs> that squid looks like... <laughs> it looks like the Pope. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> Take a look at it when he comes back up. He's got the Pope's sort of pontific hat, and he's got the Pope wave, kind of like when the, the Pope is in his Pope mobile and he's waving to the crowd, he kind of just kind of moves his whole arm around. <laughs> sort of like the Queen of England. It's totally the Pope. <laughs> pope squid. Oh, that's pretty rich. <laughs> Oh, hopefully this fight is 
winding down to a close soon. I've probably got one or two more phases and then he'll be dead. He's got about, I think, 75 to 80 HP total. One hit being one HP, of course. Now the Thunder Sword, I think, does like probably five damage to him each time. So it's definitely worthwhile to use the Thunder Sword if you're gonna use a weapon here. Although the fireballs might not be bad either, because you could sort of stay in the middle and hit both the tentacle and his face with only a little bit of movement. So that might not be a bad idea either. 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 <laughs> I can't talk. I'm sorry. Oh, hopefully he's approaching death. Nope, we got another phase to go. Anyway, this should be the last one uh, before he dies, so... Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you in the new year. Well, maybe tomorrow, but probably the new year with more episodes of Let's Play Super Adventure Island 2 The Ultimate Challenge. Uh, I'm your host, Noah, and I'll see you next time. Oh, perfect, he's dead.